It's dark! So I wanted to do my current skincare. This is like my weekly skincare, so it's not like what I do every day. First of all, I have this face scrub. It's honestly a drugstore face scrub. It's nothing crazy. Um, I guess I haven't really found the love of my life yet, so I just, you know, use this one. It's almost done anyway. I feel like I'm putting way too much because I don't have a mirror, so I'm using my camera. I really don't see. I need my glasses. So this is also a mask, like you can let it dry. What I usually do is I'll do let it kind of dry and then I scrub my face. So my hands, I need to clean my hands. You know, do my lip scrub. So this is, you know, the DIY thingy. So, you know, you go ahead and try not to eat it. So I need to shut up. And this is going to be a disaster. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I look horrible right now. And then I'm going to scrub my face. And I'm gonna go wash it off because it's getting all over the place. Um, I'm gonna turn the lights on. Okay, so the lights, my lights are yellow and I hate them, which is why I've never filmed with my lights. So anyway, whatever. That was horrible. I feel like this is too high. Can you tell I haven't filmed with this camera in a while? Because this video... Why, why are you being like this? Then I would go ahead and use a sheet mask. I don't really use sheet masks that often. Not even weekly, it really depends on if I have one or not. Oh my god. Honestly, I am so confused. I've never seen this many layers. What's going on? Oh, I think I got it. It's like you remove this one. And then you remove this thing. Okay, it wasn't supposed to drop like that. But I think my face is smaller than it's supposed to be. I have actually a second part, like for the the lower part, but this one's already huge, so I, I don't think I'm going to use the lower part. Um, I'm just going to massage the product over here. Whatever. That was horrible. Um, keep the other part for later. So uh, this mask is for dry skin, which like I said, is a problem I have. So I'm going to leave it on for... I guess 10 minutes. We'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm not gonna play best means or whatever. I'm just gonna be back in 10 minutes. See a house with a sign that says go to the van for your candy, which had an arrow pointing down to a creepy looking black van. This house was at the end of the street, so if things. <laughs> I'm tired of breathing this thing, it's horrible. I was watching some weird animation uh horror stories yeah cool so i'm sorry for watching the return thing this much image return thing but i like i said i have i don't have a mirror and i couldn't fit one uh, fit one behind my camera so it's probably a little annoying for you to see me looking at myself for 10 minutes but yeah i'm sorry so then i'd go ahead and use this thing i don't even know i it's supposed to do a lot of things right and I read about it and it sounded cool and stuff, but I don't even know if it does everything it, it's supposed to do. But I just like it so much. It's so satisfying and it does feel good. So Sometimes when I'm like, I mean online classes, I just grab this thing and I roll. I've never, I can roll my dimple. That's weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, um, 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 yeah, so sometimes I just, you know, listen and roll this thing on my face because it's cool i like it hopefully it does everything it says that it does it's squeaky though so once i've done this i actually saw this from zendaya's beauty thing that she uses vitamin e oil and i've seen her skin you've seen her skin it looks great so it's just a bottle honestly it's horrible <laughs> it's not the best format i wish i could have one of those you know drop things so i could just pour it a little in it and i could use it but for right now, I'm just, you know, going like this. So it's a little horrible. But 
as long as it does the job I, yes, I do apply a little bit also on my lips yeah, I saw it on her on her beauty routine and I couldn't find it like I looked um, I looked up everywhere and I, Amazon usually has all the weirdest things but they had like um, I don't even know I think they had like yeah, like pills, like vitamin E pills and every form of it but not oil I couldn't find oil so I just went to like a store a Lebanese store with my mom and I found it there and the last time like the stupid human that I am I fell asleep at, at the beach and I burned my whole ear it was peeling it was horrible like my whole ear and all behind it and um, so at first I didn't really know what to do, you know, and then I was like, maybe this oil will do something. I applied it once and the day after it was healed, it was genuinely healed, like it wasn't peeling anymore. It was still a little red, you know, but it was, I was, honestly, I was shocked. Like I didn't expect it to have such great results, like so quickly. So, uh, I don't know, I might have to look up if it does work for like sunburns and stuff like this and no, Aloe vera does that, uh, but I didn't have any, and but, yeah, so honestly, it did a great job. Then, next, I'm going to use just regular face cream. Uh, I guess it's easier if you actually add a little bit of vitamin E oil onto your cream directly, like in the in the container. Um, I do this weekly when I know for a fact I'm not going out because would be way too much wasted products on pollution so <laughs> yeah and then the last step is also my lips as they tend to get very very dry usually i either leave just the oil on them or now i actually got a little sample from ysl so i can't even open it because my hands are too slippery so it's just like a little uh, lip balm and i wanted to try it and i thought i might as well you know, try it for this video. I don't know what my mom is watching. So, um, yeah, that's practically my winter weekly routine for when my skin is getting extra dry and I don't like that tingly feeling. So this is what I do. Honestly, um, of been like I still have some redness but I've been breaking out less and uh, yeah so this is my personal skincare I am not a professional very very far from that I, yeah you should always uh, do what works for you and read professionals opinions uh, so yeah uh, thank you very much for watching this video uh, the setting was not as aesthetic as I wish it was it's just that the whole other part of my room is um, taken by a lot of things and also it gets dark very very early and i wanted to film it at daytime but i also had classes so um it started getting dark at like 4 30 so i didn't really get to i didn't really get that much sun time daytime so yeah um i hopefully um i'll get to make a more aesthetic skincare version the setting would be different because that's <laughs> what I want to to share um, as of right now sharing what I do is enough but I wish I could share you know what I like to in a cute setting so yeah anyway uh, a lot of talking maybe if I film it it'll be more aesthetic and with less talking uh, <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video um, yeah I hope you still kind of liked it um, hopefully I'll see you when I see you. Bye! I swear... <laughs> I was breathing that mask so hard, I think... I think there's still some left in my nose.